Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about radical equations. And we're going to solve each equation, but remember to check for extraneous solutions. So if I was given this equation here, square root of 11 minus x equals the square root of x minus 7. Okay? Well, square roots on both sides, I'm going to square both sides and eliminate them right here. Get rid of them. We're done. Square roots are gone. 11 minus x is here on the left, and x minus 7 on the right. So now we combine our like terms. So I'm going to add an x to both sides, bring my x's to the right and my numbers to the left. 11 plus 7 is 18. x plus x is 2x. Okay. Divide both sides by 2. Get x by itself. 18 divided by 2 is 9. 9 equals x. Let's rewrite it. x first looks nicer. x equals a positive 9. But now I need to check. I'm going to check that bad boy. So I'm going to check it. Rewrite my equation. 11 minus x equals the square root here of x minus 7. And the other one has square root as well. I'm going to plug in 9 for my x's. So 11 minus 9 here. I'm going to the square root. And then 9 minus 7. Simplify. 11 minus 9 is 2. So I square root of 2 here equals 9 minus 7 is also 2. So I square root of 2, square root of 2. Check off. They are the same. Fantastic. So, uh, I can confirm that we have no extraneous solutions and that x equals 9 is my answer. So, let's recap here. We're given the square root of 11 minus x equals the square root of x minus 7. I square both sides, eliminating the square root, and give me just what's on the inside. 11 minus x equals x minus 7. Simplified that now. Tried or solved it. Solve for x, not simplify, solve. I added x to both sides and added a 7 to both sides. Eliminate some parts, leaving me with a let, or 18 equals 2x on the right there. Divide both sides by 2, leaving me with 18 divided by 2 is 9, equals x on the right. Rewrote that, because it's nice and neat. x was first, x equals 9. Pretty confident at this point, but I need to check. Square, uh, rewrote my equations, and then plug 9 in for x. By doing so, I have the square root of 11 minus 9 equals the square root of 9 minus 7. Simplified, 11 minus 9 is 2, 9 minus 7 is 2. Both stay inside the square root. Both are equal. Right? Check off, we are good. Not check off the Star Trek guy, but check off that it's good. And so we have no extraneous solutions, and our final answer here is confirmed as x equals 